Here's the unit that a customer just brought us. It's pretty unique. Started as a Vantage. Tell me about this. It's an E450 2007 I bought from Lifestar Ambulance. It has 50,000 miles on it. I converted it to four-wheel drive, and I, uh, I started building the record. I want to build the best record in the world. That's why it's here, Detroit record. So I'm here with our friend Jeff, who brought us a special project. What he brought us was a wrecker body that him and some friends back home, they put together this wrecker. Started out with an ambulance chassis. Converted, added, converted it to four wheel drive. Yep, converted it to four wheel drive. And what they've built, quite frankly, is a very special piece that we added a lot of our gladiator componentry to to make it a full on wrecker body. They did a great job. Take a look at it. <laughs> Uh, he's watched our videos over the years, and quite years, frankly, every video. Yeah. Wanted to come to us. Nobody builds it better. Come on. <laughs> There's nobody that builds it better. Let's just say it. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're a small outfit. They care about their customer. They care about their people. Here comes me with a custom project. They didn't turn me down. They, they did get it done. Jeff brought us this unit because he wanted to get the ability to tighten critical pivot points, the lifetime warranty on pins and bushings. He has the ability to tighten both his crossbar and his uh, lower boom pivot. Um, his unit was sandblasted and powder coated. Um, we were able to outfit him with uh, all the hydraulics and the lights on his truck. Um, so he's very happy with uh, the way that all of that turned out. Couldn't be happier. We also installed our uh, dolly brackets on top of the wrecker body. We added strobe lights as well as uh, Canon 120s and his headlights. So again, Jeff's gonna be ready to go out and hit the road with this thing. Me and my cousin put a bunch of pieces together always knowing that you, you guys would finish it up. That was my intention all along. I wanted it to be self-loading. That's what it is now. As soon as I seen that Gladiator video, I knew it would work. So tell us about the truck. It's half a dirty and half a... The, the, the actual record body is a well-built Scorpion, I think they call it, or Spider. I bought it off eBay. All wore out, just a piece <laughs> of junk. All the home sandblasted, fixed all the pins that I could fix, and made it fit that chassis. It's a wider chassis, so we had to replace the subframe with something that was going to fit 42 and 34. They don't fit, so... We made our own subframe. My cousin, Brad, who was an excellent, excellent welder, really did a lot of the fabrication. We built our own stiff legs, and then we uh, found a Jerry in just the bed, just the aluminum bed on the side of the road for sale. We bought that, cut it in half, and made it slide in and out to mount on there for our toolboxes, basically. And that was it, and the rest is history. Come down here. I called this guy and asked him. I said, hey, I tried to explain what I got going on. He said, I got to see it. So I loaded her up on a farm trailer and hauled it down here. They didn't think I'd show up, but I did. <laughs> That's the truth. Detroit Wrecker went ahead and run all the hydraulics, figured out if they were going to work or not. Uh, your plan with this thing is what? Just flip it. So if someone wants to purchase this unit? They need to call Mike at Detroit Wrecker. What's <laughs> <laughs> number if they want to call you for it? 616-299-8813. Head scratching and, and uh, trial and error and, and crack. Oh, that's design. bullshit. He had it figured out before I left. He doesn't have time to do it. <laughs> he already did. He had it figured out before I left, didn't you? Yeah. You took one look at it and told me it will work. Yeah. And it did. No, we were able to iron it out for him. I mean, we t communicated over the phone, but Jeff and I were able to come up with a complete unit here that's going to work perfect for someone out in the field. Um, we're very confident with the way it turned out. So. I appreciate your time. Hey, Jeff, I appreciate your business. Thank you very we'll much. We'll be doing business again sometime. But as you can see, they're very busy and they've got other trucks to build. So I got to get out of his way. <laughs> <laughs>